I thought it's got the last bit of clear left, so I'll just make a tall vase. This is about a six pound lump. So we'll see what sort of shape we come up with. Just centre it first. I find that centering bigger pieces, it's easier to sort of lift it up like this. And then bring it down. It tends to be a lot easier than just trying to do it in one, one go like that. So. touch at the bottom and as always compress the base flatten the bottom off and just collar it in so I'll just use my hand this part of the hand just to get a bit of this thick stuff up from the bottom before I start to lift it lift again using my knuckle my right hand against the fingers on the inside forming a bit of a, a ledge and just sort of pulling up pushing up if you will you should be able to get a lot of quite clay up quickly back in again so it doesn't start flaring out on there. start to shape it, it's the same thing again. Steadily aware. It's actually starting to grip my hand on the inside. 
Claire's drying out inside. Stepping, I think, maybe. The transition from the body to the to the net. Like that. I don't know. I'll have to mess about and try it. Let's have a look. I think I'll just cut, just probably just belly it out and touch. Or this is where it all goes wrong. I think that'll do what happens with that one. So that's, like I said, I make these flat flat ones with short necks and long ones with tall necks, so it's a sort of mixture of the two, so I don't think it's a bad shape really. Transition there, you see, like the ledge from neck to body. I, I think that works. I'm going to accentuate that tomorrow when I'm trimming it by putting a bit of groove in. Well, I think that's okay, it's not a bad pot. That'll do.